YouTube. Welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. I'm Yolanda, the mother of the Big King Family. Today, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Uh, these are two of the Halloween Captain Crunch that we got at, uh, the, uh, at the Dollar Tree that I work at. I do work at the Dollar Tree, and I only bring you items from the Dollar Tree that I work at because I be there a lot now working, so I definitely, definitely be hauling because I love the Dollar Tree. This is the 11.7 ounce size i did get three boxes we have already ate one box so i'm showing you two boxes here in the hall halloween captain crunch look out for it tastes just like hollow tastes just like captain crunch all right a great 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 um you know just a great buy all together because uh the christmas captain crunch is in um sam's club right now and i truly believe they're going to end up not the sam's club one but at least the ones that are in the grocery store the ones that they don't sell really quickly and have six to eight month um expiration date on them they're going to push them on to the dollar tree can't wait to get the christmas halloween captain crunch the more and more you haul the more and more you realize what's going to be coming to the dollar tree all right got these two boxes of cereal Name brand, full size. I got the Sunkiss Peach. I believe that Coca-Cola brought this out when their truck came to drop off their items. Um, and yeah, it has been a big hit. A lot of our customers have been buying this Sunkiss Peach. This tastes so delicious. This is about my fourth or fifth one. I'm going to throw it in the freezer after this haul. It tastes really good. So yeah, if you haven't tried the Sunkiss Peach, and if you will drink a soda, this is really, really good. This is something I have been waiting on, you guys. I have been at the Dollar Tree for an upwards of five months or more, almost headed toward my sixth month being there working at the Dollar Tree. And I have been looking and looking and looking for this. Yes, we did get it in one time. We got it in one time and it sold out so quickly that I wasn't able to get them. So this time when we got them, I got three of them. We are currently using one and the these right here will be stacked and put away into a drawer. We only keep what we definitely use in the household so it's always room to put other stuff into the kitchen i believe this will be a great great addition to our kitchen um you can definitely just use a plate or a bowl or whatnot or to cover your food in the microwave this is a cooking concept plate cover um, microwave safe plate cover bowl cover whatnot and it has little stuff i hope i don't knock the other one over it has little holes on the side in order to vent your food so it won't just get too mushy or nothing while it's up under that plastic in the um, microwave. And it says, you know, maybe clean by hand. Okay. They said it is top rack dishwasher safe. So you can put it on the top rack. Don't worry, we will be trying that out for $1.25. If we ruin it, it'll be okay. But we we hope not to ruin it now. We hope not to ruin it. And then I guess this is to grab it. Okay, you can grab it pretty good with those two little indentions right there in order to pull it off your plate. So I was so glad to see these. Do you know what? With Dollar Tree brand items, a lot of times they will have stuff. And then it might not come back for two or three months at a time. So a lot we're having that problem now with uh tax, thumbtacks, um eyebrow, um, eyelash glue, nail glue. Um, is one more thing people keep asking for that we've been out of for a while. A lot of times as of now, I think they're just running behind in the big warehouse because a lot of items that we normally keep on hand in the Dollar Tree, you used to find it in the Dollar Tree all the time. You are having a hard time finding it. And when people see it now, they just rack up. So I went ahead and got three of these plate covers. Didn't mean to get that big spill. But that is what's going on at the Dollar Tree nowadays, you guys. If it's something that you currently or frequently use at the Dollar Tree, if you see it there, go ahead and pick it up. Yes, we'll try to go ahead and get all the food out of the way. And then that had to do with food, that microwave cover. I was, As you can see, I was very excited about the microwave covers. I did get three packs of these six-count Fun Pop drinks little juices for the kids um this is a six pack and normally we only carry like a four pack for them so i was glad to get the six pack of juices the two bottom ones are orange they're all orange and then the one on the top it has the red the grape the purple or grape flavored and the green 
the red, purple, and green um, flavors in the top one. So I really was glad to get this. I had had I got two of the uh, assorted flavor um, drink packs, but they've already they're drinking on that as of now. I think last night they drank the last one of those, so they'll probably get back started. I will be buying these. I think it's a pretty good deal for a dollar twenty five. You know, makes them less than a quarter for a little juicy, so not too bad. I like that they got they're carrying the six pack. I got two of the Monet crackers, uh, the sleeve of crackers. This is your seven ounce. These are original entertaining or entertainer crackers. You can use these for hors d'oeuvres, and uh, the date on this is April of 24, so it's pretty far out. And a lady came in there and she bought some, and I was wondering what she was gonna do. I just wonder. I will ask you straight. You know, like, what? Oh, what are you buying? Oh, you're buying these? Are these pretty good? You know. And then she went and told me a recipe, and it looked like almost what's on the, almost what's on the front of that box, which is uh, she told me cream cheese, grape. No, she said cream cheese, apricot preserve, and chopped chives. Just put it kind of on top of there. The greenery chives is probably just for aesthetic pleasing, you know, to make it look really cute and nice. Uh, right here, it looks like they have like some lemon zest, or as you could do orange zest. And that's probably what I would pick lemon or orange zest, you know, just to, uh, you know, make it look, you know, bright and refreshing. But you can use that for spring, and you can use green, like for your, your Thanksgiving hors d'oeuvres or your Christmas hors d'oeuvres, like she is. She said the last time she did it was a hit. And they were all gone. She bought like six boxes. When I went back there, these were the last two besides one box, I believe. I believe we had one more box left. I don't think I've ever seen these in our Dollar Tree. I really haven't. I haven't. And hopefully we get more because she's saying that they're really, really good. And I am going to try the hors d'oeuvre on maybe on Christmas or maybe before then. I will show you guys when I try the hors d'oeuvre and see how that tastes. I think I would really like a strawberry preserve on top of my cream cheese. Um... And with a garnish of something other than the chives. But I might well do the chives because they're not that tasteable. You know, it don't give that much of a taste. But it might balance out the sweet and kind of uh, hearty taste, you know. All right, got the crackers. Okay, I did get a pack of the Cherry 7-Up packets to go into your water. I love drink packets, water packets. They do have some in there that are 8 count and 10 count. This one right here is 6 count. The ones that I really like are 6 count. I really hope they move it up some. Um, inflation is real. And a lot of times these items don't. When you can get a better value pack like the full size name brand items. Or a bigger value pack like the 6 pack instead of a 4. It is best to just take advantage of it. But um, I did get these. I've never had this one. So I'm going to try this cherry 7 up one. I love the A&W root beer packets. Absolutely love them, and I love the dough fruit punch packets. I had the tropical punch one. I didn't too much care for, but that fruit punch one is really good in a water. So I did get these drink packets. I did get two packs of these animal crackers. They come in 10 little bitty, not little bitty, but 10 little individual packs, 0 0.8 ounce packs. Um, it's satisfying to me. I like to eat a, a little uh, packet on the side of dinner or sometime when I want something sweet to eat. You know, animal crackers are not too sweet, but they do have a little sweetness to them. These taste just like animal crackers. And then the one in the bigger bag, like, I think it's the same brand, but they, uh, no, I don't know if it's the same brand. They taste like animal crackers, but it's one or two of them in there that, uh, you know, they don't quite taste like the, you know, original animal crackers, but these do. And me and my children, we really love these, so. I will be stocking up on these little tin packs. We have none left at our store. We had a slew of them, but they're all gone, probably because they taste so good. This would be great for kid lunches also, this would. Moving on to the uh, electronic side of things, I did pick up these batteries. These are 10 count batteries. They are like, you know, like zip, like um, they're like vacuum sealed, you know, uh, sealed. And um, they're just all together like that, not really in a packet, but they're all, just, you know, like uh, vacuum sealed, sealed together. 10, a, 10, you get 10 AA batteries, and then you'll get 10 AAA batteries. One lady said she was so thankful to find them. She said that for the off-brand kind, she had paid like $12 somewhere. Now, I do remember paying about an upwards of $7.99 at Walgreens for the Walgreens off-brand ones. Um, I didn't get Energized. I didn't get Duracell, nothing like that. I just got the Walgreens brand, and they were $7.99. So, these packets of batteries, and then 
a guy in line, a guy in line said he definitely used all Dollar Tree um, batteries for his remotes because you're going to lose them all the time and stuff. And he said they last weeks and weeks and weeks. He don't have a problem with them. And I don't either. So far, so good. We use them definitely the AAA for our fire stick and the AA for different things around the house. So I'm so glad to have these batteries on hand. It's, it's, just, it's really good to have some batteries on hand. And normally, our packs don't come with nothing but four a piece in there, okay? Four a piece. And then during the Christmas season, we did get some eight packs. We got eight packs. But then they came through there with these 10 packs. I'm, I might even get some more because you're looking at 50 batteries or else 40 batteries for less than $5. Because if you get four of them, it's probably going to be... Four of them, I think, will still be five forty five with tax. Here it will. So, But if you get 40 batteries for $5, you, is not gonna be, you cannot beat that. So hopefully they, you know, they do. They do all right for me, man. I love to have them on hand. All right, y'all. These East Circuit headphones right here. They, I don't know if they're going to work for me. But I'm going to pop up on the screen. The exact kind of headphones I've been wanting by Beats. It's the kind of come around your ear, your ear and hold on to your ear. And I think these do the same thing where they come onto your ear. And um, uh, hold on to your ear. They, they'll just stay on your ear. Them buds are not for me. My husband even bought me a pair of uh, earbuds, whatever you call them, and I lost them twice within the first day. And I said, uh, please give these to somebody who will really appreciate them and who can use them because it's not that I didn't appreciate them. I could not keep them in my ear to save my life. I couldn't. So I really want something to kind of come over my ear. I saw them by the brand Beast, and they got they got when it come over your ear. Now, these right here come over your ear just like that and everything. When me and my husband both are back there in the bedroom watching TV. Well, he's watching TV. And a lot of times I try to put my YouTube on my phone and look at some different videos from people. And, um, yeah, I don't be wanting to interrupt him. But I do because I have it up a little, I have it up a little bit. But he don't tend, tend to say nothing. And so, up under here, it is a cord. There's a cord up under there. And I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And it does not have nowhere where you can put that in it. So I think it may be another bus for me some headphones. Unless they're Bluetooth and it don't say, it do say hands-free. That's what I was looking at, that it said hands-free. So that made me think I could just put them in, connect them to my Bluetooth, but it don't say Bluetooth. And it, did, and it does say compatible with most smartphones. Uh, we will see. I hope it's blue. I hope I can Bluetooth them. And just put them in my ear and enjoy my videos on my phone or enjoy Pinterest and stuff. All right. I'll talk to you later. I, I think this is a, a, a done deal, though, where I can't use these. Uh, I don't know. All right. Keep it on with the electronic theme. I showed you the batteries and the headphones. These are USB cables type C. These will go to your newer, uh, I know, iPhone 15s. And um, hmm, they're gone now. I'm so glad uh, my boss at work, the store manager, she actually has a 15 Pro Max just like I do, and hers fit her block. So that is, um, this is not the block, but at least you can get the cable for a dollar and twenty five cent. And the rope that they have on them is like a, it's like a, it's not a plastic rope that's gonna break real easily. This is like a, a, a for real rope, like you know, it's like rope. It's not, it's not just the regular, you know, plastic like rope. It is uh, like fabric rope i guess that's how i'm trying to put it what i'm trying to say and then it said it's high speed charging i don't know about that but if it is we will see and it'll probably it will fit into my black thing about it. i don't even have a black i have been using uh my son's deucey's um i've been using deucey charger and i've been using uh, my husband boo's charger so i do need to get my own block for my phone all right you guys moving on. i was glad to get these three cables because they did run out quickly i did get these magnetic abc's um magnets to go onto the refrigerator they know they're abc's dunabug and tink but i'm hoping that they can recognize the letters and i hope they get numbers like this also okay we're gonna move on into some health and beauty items i did get two more of the b b pure vitamin c lotions uh this is the um, illuminating body lotion. They also have a hydrating one, and there is another one of these. I love the way they're sealed really good at the top, 
and they're supposed to be really, really good for your body. I have not yet to use these. I always, I, I have actually a stockpile of health and beauty and household items, and I keep them in a line, and then I do rotate as I go, so I haven't gotten to the, to the rotation of the ones that I bought the last time. So when I get to the rotation, I can try them. It, I mean, when I, if I really, really like a product, you're going to know come continue to buy it. But I did get some inside um, information about this from a masseuse that come through the line saying that she only used this for her clients, these different types of lotions, preferably the one uh, the hydrated one uh, with, no, it might be this one with the, no, the hydrated one that has collagen in it. Yeah. The one that has collagen in it is the, her preferred one, but she will use the other ones when we don't have those. All right. Got two more of these. You guys, I have never actually tried any. As you can see, there's three packs of animal crackers behind there. I found another pack of animal crackers that I had bought. Um, I never have, um, Try no shampoo at the Dollar Tree. And then I do not know for sure if, if, you know, shampoo and conditioner all in one is the best thing to do. But if it is, man, I can eliminate the conditioner that's in my stock. I really could just do shampoo and conditioner. I don't know. When I smelled this, it smelled really good. It smells really good. And it's pretty thick. So I'm really hoping it does my hair pretty good. I just I just wash my hair every, you know, when I need to wash it, I just wash it. I blow dry it out and call it a day. And my, you know, your head always feels so good when you have a good fresh wash on it. So I'm going to try this out because there's a need for one shampoo in my uh, stockpile. You know, I keep it a certain way to where I know what I need. So I'm going to start trying some of the shampoos from there also, just like I'm trying to find a really good lotion from the Dollar Tree. All right. Got this. Anybody done tried it or know about it, let me know if you like it or not. It says it's, um, I don't know, has vitamin B, olive beer, and soy protein in it. So, don't know if that would be good or bad for my hair. I just really don't know. I just normally just wash my hair and go. So, um, and I'm not bald-headed, so thank God for that. So, <laughs> I'll just be rolling. And some people say, get you a chair, get you some coffee, or a little drink, a little martini, whatever you got to do in order to watch me. <laughs> Get you something because this is a pretty big haul. I found two more bags um, right over there on top of the refrigerator. Sometimes I throw them on top of the refrigerator until I get ready to do the haul. I am so... I mean, the camera is not doing this justice. It's really not. It is not doing it justice. I'm going to rearrange Okay, this it. is as close as I can get to this. This is your Kiss Gel Shine Nail Polish. I love sparkly nail polish. And I already have some pink sparkly nail polish um, by Color Vibes, which is the Dollar Tree brand. But... But I did get this name brand, full size, well, full size with the name brand, uh, Nail Polish Kiss Gel Shine Polish. This is going to be so pretty as an overlay on my French tip press-ons that I put on all the time. I know I'm going to really enjoy it. These were the last three they had, so I went ahead and I grabbed them. Now, we did have about seven or eight of each one. There are some other colors in my uh, store, but I preferably really love this to just kind of overcoat my um, French tip uh, press-ons. So I was so happy to find another type of sparkly nail polish. Very, very happy to find it. And it's far and few in the Dollar Tree it is. So when you get it, and then this one was name brand. Very happy to find this wonderful new find. This wonderful find. New find in my store. But we definitely haven't had no kiss. Woo. I don't think I've ever seen it in our stores. That's a good old, almost five or six months we probably haven't had this. But I do be seeing it hauled and people showing it on different walkthroughs and different hauls. But our store never gets I'm here in Alabama. We don't never hardly get that. You know, I just, we just don't. I did get the Delta Home hand soap. I got the lavender one, okay? So I got the lemon one, the lavender one, and I believe there's a eucalyptus one. The lavender one is the one I did not know anything about, you guys. I didn't know they had the lavender one, and it smells really good. All three of these are a winner for me. There are 16 fluid ounces. We do have a bigger one in the Dollar Tree, which is about 18 fluid ounce. And I do love those. Now, we do have the really big refill bottles. But I like the bottles I can just put on my shelf and use, okay? I can just put them up on the sink and use them. Uh, so far, the biggest one I've come across is an 18-fluid ounce bottle. This one is 16-fluid ounce. Um, I believe those, um, those um, like, cinnamon spice and, and pumpkin spice ones, uh, they're by a brand I can't think of. But it, they're, I might pop it up on the screen if I can find a picture of it. Um, I love using those. They smell so good. They have a really good, deep fall and a holiday scent to them. But I will forever use them if we, you know, if we continue to get them. So these two are my go-to hand soaps in the Dollar Tree. I actually 
loves Dollar Tree hand soaps. I, I just didn't start. I really like them. They smell really good. And they get the job done as far as washing your hands. All right, personal care. Personal care. I don't know too much about this brand or that, whatnot, but I think it is a Dollar Tree brand. But I did see the coconut body oil and the vitamin E body oil. I'm going to try both of those. I've been looking for a good moisturizer, and I'm probably going to be using these oils right here. Definitely want to use these to see how they go. Uh, and then you have the coconut oil moisturizing cream. It's six ounces, and then these two are four ounces. I don't know if I'm going to continue to use the oil or the moisturizing cream. I have to see which one I really like the best. I'm really just going to have to see which one I absolutely like the best. Now, I'm going to tell you guys. The coconut body oil has fragrance in it. And a lot of time when you put start adding the fragrances and the perfumes like or whatever, you know, it don't make it so natural so where it won't just kind of harm you or nothing. But as long as you're not consuming it, it shouldn't be too bad. But if you want just a more of a natural type one, you're going to get the vitamin E body oil. But I do. I love it. I love the smell of the coconut body oil. I love the smell of it. So I would forever use it. I would use it. And it does have a little fragrance in it. I actually love Bath & Body Works. I love Bath & Body Works. And I love pink and Victoria's Secret items. So Lord knows that they are heavily fragranced. So it doesn't bother me for it to have any fragrance. But I just want to tell people that who might like something that's a little lighter that's not so uh, strong scented and have allergies or something like that real heavy, you might want to go with the vitamin E body oil. If you want to try it, I really believe these oils will help during, this, during the winter months at least. And now the cream, I might start using it like for the spring and summer months where it's not so uh, cool. But I will see. I might start actually using it for a lotion, the coconut oil moisturizing cream. So, and it says... It's, it has real natural coconut oil in it, and I believe it. Yeah, it's for, it's for your whole body. Some body care by personal care. They came in, and I had never really seen it, so I really wanted you know, try it out. The last of the body care, the Dove deodorant. You can't really beat it getting Dove out of the Dollar Tree. This Dove roll-on does, does just fine for me. I really, really like it. And, and you've seen it in one or two more of my hauls. So it's something I do really like, and I will forever more frequent get it. Um, it's something that you got to catch at my Dollar Tree. When it put it out, it's gone. I think after I picked these up, it might have been two more left. We usually get like a whole bin full of them, which is about 20 to 30 of them. Probably 20 to 32 come into like a little box or whatever that would get shipped. And they'd be all gone within the week. So I did grab three of these to put into my stock and to utilize. All right, y'all. Now we're cooking with fish grease. These are fruit snacks that I got. So the last few items I show you are going to be some snacks. The caramel, the Oreo caramels. So it's a, a Oreo caramel. We, we've been calling it a Oreo taffy. Uh, we've been calling it Oreo taffy. And it was another one that we was calling it. But it's really just, it's like a caramel, but it's really like an Oreo caramel. Okay. Really good. Really good. It's become a hit in our house. I always buy them. Tiffy really loves them. She loves them. She buys them by the pack. She really loves them, but I'll get this pack, and the whole family will kind of dip in into them and grab a uh, Oreo caramel or two. So I probably I'll open these tonight. I gotta hide some of them from doing it, but he'll try to eat the whole bag. But yeah, these are really really good. If you haven't tried them, huh? Y'all think them Oreos something? We was calling it uh Oreo taffy, Oreo taffy. That's what we was calling it, Oreo taffy, or else uh, I think that's what I just said. But anyhow, I, I'm trying to think of what we were calling it. But anyway, it, it's really, really good. But anyhow, hmm, they some serious, these zaps. And everybody usually will get the zaps from. You only you get the 2.5 ounce bag at Dollar Tree. This is two of them out of the five that I bought. Just two out of the five I bought. This Creole onion one is some serious, y'all. It's really delicious, really good. Oh, kettle style. I knew the chips were, the little, the, were a little harder harder fried or whatnot so these are your kettle style chips and they're creole onion flavor it's kind of a sweet but not too sweet and then like a, a onion with the onion flavor in there so it is really these chips are good right here they're good they're really good all right your barton's caramel peanut crisp clusters now they had the peanut butter ones like this i didn't care for the peanut butter ones and i really i, I got one of these hoping this is probably just a christmas candy that they brought up and this is your caramel peanut crisp so it probably got like it seemed like it got like little rice crispy yeah little rice krispies in there it do got peanuts in there with some chocolate and some caramel so we'll see how these taste you know i don't know to me their brand has not been a hit with me i'm gonna try this one this one looks pretty good two of my favorite absolute favorite candies from the dollar tree is when they went and did this full pack of 
banana Laffy Taffies. They really made my day. And then the Bit O' Honey is an older candy I used to eat when I was a little girl. And I really, really love it. I still love it. It says new look, same great taste. Uh -huh, all right, you right about that. When I eat these, it just takes me back to my childhood, the bit of honey. And Duna Bud likes both of these. He eats these with me, him and Tink Bo. They don't, they don't let none of these snacks get past. All of them I'm showing, I'm sure they will make sure they get some all of right, them. All right, this is the end of my haul. You guys, I'll be so happy about everything that I'll be finding at Dollar Tree. The Silk Care Pro Form Formula Hydrating Shampoo. That's the first shampoo I picked up. And then I must have went on and picked this one up. But look, it ended up being by the same exact company or whatnot or brand. So I, I believe I really like this is the shampoo that I'm, um, you know, that I'm, you know, kind of vibing toward, you know, because of what I picked up. I picked up the purple bottle on one day and the white bottle on another day, which tells me that I really just like this shampoo. And um, I just want, I, I mean, I really am, you know, uh vibing toward this shampoo this shampoo is something i really want to try so um i did get the hydrating shampoo you guys i am so just happy about the whole haul thank you guys for joining me thank you for listening and until next time youtube stay blessed